Good afternoon, everyone out there. Welcome to AMC Thursday Ticket. Very excited to be yeah. back on the show this week. I am Hank. I'm joined by my co-host. Alicia, hi, guys. How are you this week? I'm great. Did you have a great weekend last weekend? I had a really good weekend. A little something happened in the movie world last weekend. Did it not? I don't recall. I will refresh well, your memory. came out. I, let me refresh your memory. Okay. But first, before we get to that, we got to tell you right now, we got to tease you. We're going to be giving away some stuff on the yes. show this week. We're giving away these two awesome purses from the movie Greta. Greta. Going to talk about Greta later in the yes. show. Stay tuned. Going to be some trivia. Going to be some giveaways. But we're going to get to those purses in a little bit. But first, mm -hmm. we got to get to our question of the week. Yes. So, you were actually at the Oscars out on the red carpet yes. watching the stars come in. Yes, in the fan section, seeing them all wave and... I mean, that's, Beautiful. that's the place to be. The glitz and glamour. That is the place to it's be. Awesome. She was there. Mm -hmm. So we want to know, though, from you, what Oscar-winning movies are you excited to see come back to yes. the big screen? What is coming back? Tell us. you got to do the... Yeah, put it in the comment click, section. Click, tap, tap. Yeah. <laughs> and tell us what you want to see come back to the big screen. I want to... What are you excited for? Okay, so I have one answer this time. Well, very good I for know, you. I like that I, you funneled it down to is, one. This is growth. <laughs> this is me Important. becoming an adult. Important. Or making decisions. Whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so my movie is Free Solo. Ooh. It won Best Documentary yes. Feature. Um, I have not seen it, but it's going to be at select IMAX locations. Oh, yes. And this movie is about this individual who's due free... Free climbing. Free climbing. Which is with, like, he his fingers must be, like, no crazy ropes. strong. Yes. I'm super fascinated, and I want to see that. Yeah, and I think it's awesome, if you haven't seen it, getting to see it back on the big yes. screen. The sheer scale of what happens in this movie, mm -hmm. climbing, just Made unfettered, it seems highly, highly scary and highly dangerous. I know. But a lot of this is going to happen. you got to see it on the big screen. Very cool that Free Solo's yeah. come back. What's your answer? I'm not going to tell you. Ah. I am going to do what they call in the business tease my oh. answer and tell you I'm going to tell you later in the show because okay. we got to talk about some other stuff. Yeah. we got to talk about some of these Oscar movies. So let's go right now to our weekend movie guide. All right, so this week we got some stuff coming back to yes, the big screen. We a got lot. a new movie, but we're gonna we're gonna start with all the Oscar winners that are mm -hmm. coming back to the big screen. And I am gonna tell you my favorite that's coming back, but I'm gonna hold that still. Oh. I'm gonna hold it because I know people are just just breathless with anticipation. I can't wait. But uh, of course, first and foremost, coming back to the big screen, the yeah. Best Picture winner, Green Book, is back yeah. this week. Mahershala Ali, Viggo Mortensen. Yeah, yeah. Back. you got to bring the best picture back. It's, it, it, if you didn't see it before, it's a crowd pleaser. It's yeah. a feel good movie. It is. It, it, it's great. One best picture, also one best original screenplay. Mm -hmm. So it's got best a couple supporting actor. Best supporting actor won yeah. three Oscars. Great one to come back to the big screen. Another one of my favorites, Star is Born, is coming back. Now, Star is Born. Just do the, just do the voice. He's just got to come back because <laughs> the movie is just so beautiful. When I and I want to see it again. Bradley doing it, I'm like, he doesn't do it like Hank. I, I, and at the Oscars, I mean, that, that performance that they did was oh, pretty amazing. God. Pretty amazing. Do you want to try to. No, you got to sing, though. Oh. Oh. You're not um, going to sing? <laughs> no. Okay, we're going to spare you that. We're going to spare you that. I get it. But Star is Born is coming singer. back. Oh, well, I can so pretend much. to play the piano. Oh, that's very good. That's very good. Just like typing. <laughs> right. Uh, all right, so Star is Born is coming back. Yes. One of my favorites is coming back. Brum, bum, bum. The favorite is coming back this week. Yes. yes. I am a huge fan of this. When Olivia Coleman won the Oscar for this. Best acceptance speech. Oh, my gosh. She was well, one amazing. One of them. One of them. One of, but awesome. I would put her at the top of the list. Yeah. So, so natural, funny. authentic, yeah. funny. I, I, I literally it. did like a fist pump when she won. <laughs> the tiger. I was so excited for her. Uh, I loved that movie. Yeah. It's such a I weird, funny exploration but, yeah. of uh, that time in history. But it was great. Yeah. Love that movie. And then, of course, your fr your favorite, Free, Free Solo, Solo is coming yeah. back. Now, here's mine, and the one I'm most excited about. We are bringing back Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, winner of Best Animated Feature. That's yeah. very good. Have you been Thank practicing? You. I have. I'm a big fan of this movie. Well, I, I, with that, I mean, you might actually be Spider-Man. Because anyone can wear the, wear the suit now. Anyone can. Anyone can. So, what would be your Spidey uh, name? Well, there's Spider-Ham already. They yeah. had Noir Spider-Man. I mean, I would go with... I would probably have to go with Spider-Dork. <laughs> Spy, I mean, that's fitting. It's quite fitting. Quite fitting. What about yeah. you? What would your spider name um, be? Spider Giggles? Spider Giggles. I'd say we go with Giggle Spider. Giggle Spider, The yeah. Giggle Spider girl. Yeah. Okay. Hee -hee. That's, <laughs> you're going to give away your location with all this giggling. I know. Though. i got to be quiet. Your spider sense tingles and you just start to giggle. 
I actually kind of like that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. Take a note of that, Lord and Miller. We're gonna we're gonna need that in the sequel to Spider Verse. Speaking yes. of the creators mm -hmm. and writers and producers of this movie, Phil mm -hmm. Lord and Chris Miller, we sat down with them to talk about this amazing movie, yep. Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. Let's check that out right now. My name is Miles Morales. Brooklyn! I'm the one and only Spider Man. At least that's what I thought. You ever hear of the Super Collider? You're gonna love this. Dimension opening now. It was Miles' story, his coming of age, and, and it's his movie. The main spider dynamic that we wanted to have was with Peter Parker. You're like me. How? And him having to mentor Miles. I can teach you to be Spider-Man. I think each of these characters works really well on their own, but together I thought it was really hilarious. What would look the, like on the screen the craziest? Things from the Spider-Man canon that were the most different from each other. Okay, it's not just because she's a girl, but I have to say Spider-Gwen is just super cool. I'm really liking Spider-Ham. I thought Spider-Ham brought a lot to the table. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak him out. So excited for Spider-Verse yeah. to come back, but we've got a I new... I can't stop doing that, yeah, I'm sorry. Doing... I mean, it's a good thing you have invisible webs, because yeah. otherwise the camera would be covered right yeah. now. And that would not be good for this show. No. All right, so you got to take it, take, it, take it easy. Rain it in, and okay. let's get to the new movie this week. Yes. He is back. Tyler Perry is yes. back on the big screen. A Medea family funeral. Yes. It's so, um, spoiler, it's Medea's not dying. Medea's not dying. No. At least as far as we know, I haven't seen the movie, but it's um, not Medea's yeah. funeral no. as a central it's a piece of the movie. family funeral that she's yes. attending. Yes. This is the last time you guys are going to see Medea on the big screen. Tear. Sad. I know. Cry. It's, it's crazy. She's been around forever. Long time. Tyler Perry started on stage and then had all of these movies. Yes. She's been everywhere. Oh, completely. She's done a ton of things. She's been to jail. Yeah. She's been in witness protection. She's had some spookiness in her uh, life. Yeah, there's been a few Halloween spooks in there. Yeah. That's very true. Yes. So people love these films. They're so funny. Mm -hmm. We have to just throw out my favorite. Go, go for your favorite. Hello. <laughs> very good. It's a very subdued Medea Hello. impression you have. <laughs> my favorite Medea, uh, a Medeaism I would say is, good afternoon. <laughs> Adding the T on afternoon just really, yeah. it really drives it home. I'm going to miss um, the house dresses. It reminds they me of my grandmother. They are. There's like a big muumu with like a zip. Yeah. Um, I love those. And they have pockets and then they have house shoes. I just, I'm going to miss those dresses. We really missed an opportunity here. I should have worn a to house have dress. You, yes. Damn it. Uh, maybe next time. If there is a next time. I mean, maybe we hold out hope. Yeah, maybe. Maybe like. we'll hold out hope. Tyler Perry would come back. <laughs> What's really interesting about this movie, too, is I mean, Medea is great, great mm. character. Tyler Hilarious. Perry didn't stop there, though. Mm -mm. Tyler Perry is playing many, many people in this yeah. movie, kind of uh, uh, channeling the inner Eddie Murphyism, yes. you might say, from the from back in the classic comedy days of Coming to America, Nutty mm -hmm. Professor, the clumps yeah. action there. So I love stuff like that. It, it's I, I'm really looking he forward to this. He did everything. Mm -hmm. He played almost everybody. <laughs> almost. He produced it, directed it. Yeah. And he sat down and talked with us yes! about the movie. How about that for a transition? I think that's, that's a great good. segue. Let's um, watch it right now. So let's look, take a look. Hello. <laughs> The Bible say, yea, though she walked in the valley with the shadow of little Red Riding Hood and the three bears, she feared no evil, because the three little pigs was not around. I just think it's it's the wisdoms that this woman has from all the things that she's been through. If she was a real person, she would have a lot of, she would be the ratchet version of Oprah if she was a real person, right? I know it's about funerals. I done buried a lot of men. A lot of them. That funeral was gonna be messed up. <laughs> so I, I just love that she has is able to do that and do it without being politically correct, and, and people are getting it and endearing to it. So to see what has happened off the all these years has just been phenomenal. As great as this run has been, there's so much more that I want to do. I'm turning 50, and I wouldn't, I refuse to be her age playing her. When I start to look in the mirror and I don't need makeup to add wrinkles, I'm like, okay, something's going on here. I'm a real thug. I'm an OG M A D E A. <laughs> It is great to see Medea back on the mm -hmm. big screen now. Medea Family Funeral opening this weekend. Yes. All right, we got to talk some more Oscars though, so let's go right now to the Hollywood news. All right, so the Oscars were this past yep. weekend. We've talked about it a little bit already, but the show, I actually really like the fact that they didn't yeah. have a host. 
I miss the host. Yeah. But not too too much. I just I like a little bit more song and dance, even though we had like the Yeah, there's awesome plenty of songs. <laughs> plenty of songs in there the There were a the lot show. of songs, but I, I miss it just a little bit. Really? I've actually thought it went very smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, it kind of sped it up a little bit. Still went a little over three hours. Yeah. And I'm okay with night. that. The long night. But uh, I, I thought the no host was okay. The biggest highlight for me, outside of some of the stuff we already talked about, yeah. was Spike Lee finally yes. getting an Oscar. Yes. Oh, I love him. Long, long well overdue. Deserved. I mean, it's been really 30 years yeah. since Do the Right Thing came out. Mm -hmm. And, it, and the a little movie called Michael Max that he could have went to. Yeah, it, yeah, but the fact that it took this long is kind of a travesty, but at least it, he has got one it. now. Yeah. He deserves one. He got the chance to get up there, make a speech, talk about you know some social empowerment. I was yeah. very excited to see Spike Lee get his Oscar. And mm -hmm. a fellow Morehouse alum gave it to him. Yes, that was very cool. So I cool. thought that was like, you can't make that happen. No. You know, that's just kind of some of the magic of it, so I was really happy to see that. Were there any other awards that you were very stoked to see get handed out? Um, Regina King. Yes. My girl. I loved her since 227 <laughs> and Poetic Justice and everything Friday. else. Friday. She's Friday. Yes. yes. Those are some of her smaller roles. She's yeah. in bigger things. She's an amazing actress and she's a director and to see her get it and kick off the night. Yeah, and I think like, If Beale awesome. Street Could Talk was a phenomenal movie mm -hmm. and I'm glad it got something. Yeah. Glad it got something yes. last night. I was also very excited for Black Panther yes. to get recognized. Uh, I mean, Black Panther was the biggest movie first, of last year. Is that, okay, is that Marvel's first Oscar? No, it's not Marvel's first Oscar because they've won in technical categories mm. before. But uh, this was the first uh, time that an African-American female had yes. won a non-acting Oscar in like 30 plus years. Huge. And it happened two times Huge. in a row. Huge. So that was awesome. And Kevin, yeah. it, it, it's mm -hmm. a great movie, too. Black Panther's a great movie. My favorite. And, 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 you know, carrying on the great tradition of Marvel movies, we're right up against the next one. Yeah. Captain Marvel's coming out in just a week. Yes. And you actually have some inside info for us, yes. don't you? So I did have a really crazy weekend. Yeah, it if sounds it like Oscars, it. I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Um, but I went to the press conference for Captain Marvel, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. The whole cast was there. Okay. And a few things stuck with me. First of all, uh, I did get to, a chance to see the movie. and Say what? Wow. Are you under, like, some crazy rule where you can't speak, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil? All right, but thumbs up. We get the thumbs up. That's good. Thumbs. Very excited for that. Um, okay. But the thing that really stuck with me is the cast have, they, they have a great, genuine friendship. Okay. And they like each other. Good chemistry. And it feel... wasn't like, you know, I'm sitting here with a guy I don't really like, and I'm just going to say, oh, yeah, we're friends. Ha, ha. No. It, you we mean like how this show it. is? Yeah, like this. Okay. Um, they really enjoy each other's company and had great things to say about uh, each other and mm -hmm. the work. And very uh, Samuel Jackson was really excited for Brie Larson and what this is going to be doing for her career. Oh. And he's not somebody who's going to fake it. Yes. He's going to yeah, tell that you, is very like, true. how he... Thinks. Yeah, and, I mean, he, he had yeah. to stop the Oscar show to tell Spike Lee that the Knicks won. So you know Which he's going to speak news. his mind. Yeah. He's gonna, so you're saying you could see you could see Brie Larson, Sam Jackson, and Jude Law just going out for some yeah. fro yo and hanging out, right? Yeah, they like each other. I think that's awesome. Yeah, that, that, that is that very great. cool. So that very was cool. exciting. And right. a young lady, uh, just to add, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a young little journalist uh, had the last question, and we posted Ooh. on our social media channels Ooh. last week. But she said what Brie Larson's character meant to her as a young girl uh. watching it. So it was like. Okay. Representation on screen is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I think is really cool that we've seen, too, from a lot of the... I mean, we've got... This movie's in a week. So yeah. you're going to see a lot of stuff coming out the market. Brie Larson, she got really strong for this movie. Yes. Really strong for yes. this movie. I mean, you showed me something. She's pushing a Jeep yeah. up a hill. Can you do it? Can you push a Jeep up a hill? I mean... Like, right now. Right now. Well, if I had a hill or a Jeep, I could absolutely... What if I told you? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I could absolutely not do it. Yeah. Absolutely either. not. Brie Larson would be phenomenally more strong I than I am. I can push anything up a hill. No. Maybe a stroller? No. Maybe? I, I would push know. social issues up the hill. <laughs> that will be my metaphorical Jeep. Oh. But I don't think I'll be able to get that real Jeep up <laughs> yeah. the hill. So she got jacked. Yes, she got jacked. And yeah. if you want to see Captain Marvel, we got our fan event mm -hmm. we're going to talk about later in the show. But it's one week from today. Yeah. One week from today, Count, you can check out Captain begin. Marvel. Very excited. Yeah. All right. We do have some other movies coming out this week. Let's get right now to our AMC Independent Spotlight. All right, this week, kicking off our AMC Independent Spotlight, we have a... This movie looks terrifying. I don't know yeah, how else to say creepy. it. Creepy. Greta is coming creepy. out this week. Now, Greta sounds like she might be, you know, your typical 
friendly neighborhood yeah, she feels uh, like grandmother. She, she might bake, you know, yes. scones or something. Yeah, no, this Greta is not exactly uh, going to be in that, in that way. So <laughs> this movie stars Chloe Grace Moretz and yeah. Isabelle Huppert, mm -hmm. who's in one of my favorite movies, I Heart Huckabees. Yeah. Great, great film. Um, and it's directed by Neil Jordan. Now, if you're not familiar with Neil Jordan, he's done some really interesting uh, films, I would say, that, that kind of push the envelope when it comes to... Uh, how you think about the world. Very different stuff. Yes. Uh, he really came on the scene in a movie called The Crying Game mm -hmm. uh, over 20 years ago. He did an interview with a vampire. Yeah. A couple years ago, he did a really cool, uh, another vampire-ish movie called Byzantium. And he, he makes you think about, these characters aren't exactly what you picture them being. Mm -hmm. They're not exactly what you would see on the surface. It's mm -hmm. very interesting. And uh, we, we actually sat down with uh, Chloe Grace Moretz and Neil Jordan to talk about the character of Greta and kind of how he saw her coming to life. So let's take a look at that right now. Are you a child? No, you're the child. You need someone to love. You need a mother to hold you. You love someone and you're afraid to love. We both know it's true. Don't you dare talk to me about my mother. Darling, don't you understand? She had to die. She had to die for me! Are you out of your mind? But what makes her the perfect, like, psychothriller villain? Even when she is being her darkest self and she's doing these really horrific, monstrous things, there's a moment in reality where you almost understand her and you understand what, you know, the breadcrumbs were probably leading up to this. The villain was, you know, a very elegant, sophisticated European woman. You know, you expect a guy who's driving one of those pickup trucks or wearing uh, dirty sneakers and a hoodie and all that. Okay, fine, he's a psychopath, I get it, you know, but for Nancy Pelosi to be a psychopath, <laughs> that would be interesting, I thought. Yeah, very creepy. Yeah. Very creepy where he was trying to take mm -hmm. this character, but it looks really interesting, really cool. You know what else is cool? What? That purse! Yes! The purse that we have right here. We are gonna give away two of these purses mm -hmm. on the show today, later in the show. So what we gotta do, you gotta answer a trivia question for yeah. us. Are you ready for me to ask? I'm ready. It? You are 100% ready. Give it to him. All right, here we go. This movie stars Isabelle Huppert and Chloe Grace Moretz. Yes. Now, Chloe Grace Moretz burst onto the scene in a movie called Kick Ass mm -hmm. a few years ago. What we wanna know is what was her character's name in Kick Ass? Put it in the comment section. Put it in the comments. We will pick two winners at random at the end of the show to win this fabulous Greta inspired yeah. purse. We're giving away two. Dose. Yeah. Dose purses. So put it right. in the comment section. Yes. So uh, more movies coming out. So this movie, Run the Race, which actually came out last week. Last week? Second mm -hmm. week. We're still talking about it. It's from our, it's a faith-based title. Um, and it's produced by Tim Tebow and his brother, Robbie Tim Tebow. So Tim Tebow was an athlete. He's still an athlete. I shouldn't say he was. Throwing he was ball. a football player. Now he's a baseball player. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, very popular. Oh, and yes. he got um, approached to do different kind of movies and be attached to different mm -hmm. films. But he was really particular in what he wanted to do. Yes. He's, uh, he wanted to be in something that connected with his faith. And in walks Run the Race. There you go. So this movie is about two brothers. Yep. Kind of makes sense. Robbie and Tim Tebow are involved. Uh, they're in high school. One brother is on the gravy train to college scholarship land uh, with a football scholarship. Doing mm -hmm. great. Gets into a bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. Hurts his knee. Goes downhill. The other brother then takes charge. Yep. Goes for the track scholarship to try to pull the family up yeah. and out of their small town and mm -hmm. into a better life that they want to lead. Looks really good. Great family film. Yep. For this weekend. Yep. So our next film in AMC Spotlight is Apollo 11. Yeah, so I'm this very one, excited about this. If you love space, like keep watching because this movie is definitely for you and Hank. This guy. Apparently. Mm -hmm. um, so this film is a documentary and it uses footage from the actual mission yeah. to tell the story of Apollo 11. Yeah, actual footage. So mm -hmm. this has got the real Buzz Aldrin in it, the yeah. real Neil Armstrong mm -hmm. in it. So if you loved First Man that came out last year, which I did, yeah. absolutely loved it, mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of the real version yeah. of that in, in so many ways. It, it, it takes you behind the scenes of how the mission took place, mm -hmm. what the ups and downs, ins and outs, and the mm -hmm. struggles that they had there, but it really places you in the capsule with them. It's coming back on the big screen, and mm -hmm. when I say the big screen, the it's big gonna one. be in select IMAX screens across the country at AMC Theaters, mm -hmm. so check our website and our app to find out where Apollo 11 is playing near yeah. you this weekend. Gonna be awesome, go check it out. Yep, so that's all of our movies for AMC mm -hmm. Spotlight, but we have some special offers yes. for you, so uh, let's, get, uh, let's get to it. Yep. We got a lot of stuff to talk about for very cool things that are happening in AMC theaters, AMC theaters in the next few days. Mm -hmm. And 
We're going to start off with movie we kind of already talked about, yes. Captain Marvel. So our Captain Marvel fan event is one week from today. Yes! One week from today, 6 p.m., March 7th. You can see Captain Marvel. You can be the first to see Captain Marvel. And not only do you get to see the movie an hour yeah. early, you get a popcorn and you get a cool collectible coin. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't have your tickets already, mm -hmm. but you still got a little bit of a chance. You still got a few days to get there. Check out the fan event on March 7th at 6 p.m. I have already seen it, like I yes, said earlier. Yes, you have. I know. Uh, I, am I bragging? Yes, yes. absolutely. Yeah. You see things all the time. Not Captain Marvel. No, you haven't. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I might go see it again at the fan event. Well, it's, it's uh, seeing the movie the second time, I often find my appreciation for it grows. Mm. You start to notice different things, especially in a movie like this, mm -hmm. where there is going to be a lot of interconnectivity, I think, between the other titles. You'll start to pick up on more of those strands and stuff. Might give you a little spoilers for Avengers Endgame, maybe. So, yeah, definitely check it out. But you're the only one that can say that because it's the second time for you. It's yeah, totally it is. Unfair. But, right. Yes, but we also have a great uh, sweepstakes going on for yeah. fighting with my family. So if you buy tickets um, by March 3rd, which is coming up, Very soon. you get a chance to win a trip for four to Chicago to the WWE Survivor Series. That's right, you got that right, brother! <laughs> it's my Hulk Hogan. Wait, uh, do I, I can't do it. Can I smell what the rock is cooking? Yes, can you? I don't know. Okay, no, come on, you gotta do there you go. There you go. That's good. <laughs> All right. Yes. So if you are a wrestling fan, you got to mm -hmm. check out the movie, but you also got to enter the sweepstakes mm -hmm. to get to the Survivor Series in Chicago later yep. this year. Very, very cool chance you got there. So we had a trivia question earlier. Oh, yes. We so got winners? We, yes. We have two winners. You want to tell them the answer? Oh, the answer, Chloe Grace Moretz's characters from Kick-Ass is Hit Girl. Yes. Hit so, Girl. So congratulations to Shayla Johnson Ooh. from Facebook and Rosa Palanco from YouTube. All right. We will get those details from you and get you those yeah. purses right away. Mm -hmm. I love that movie, Kick-Ass. Hit Girl is a great character. If you've not seen that movie, check it out. It's mm -hmm. probably slightly less scary than Greta, <laughs> but still a yeah. significant amount of violence. Yeah. But great, great stuff. So uh, we talked about a lot of movies today. Yes. Had a little bit of hiccup, but we're kind of we're yeah. kind of forget about that. Um, but you can always get your tickets at amztheaters.com or on a mobile app. Again, mm -hmm. tons of movies, lots of bring rats. Tons of stuff coming out mm -hmm. soon. Please follow us on our social channels. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you other things that have, haven't been invented yet. <laughs> you subscribe YouTube, to us on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. On all that good stuff. And we will be back here next week yes. talking about movies again on AMC Thursday Ticket. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.